So, both you guys in double figures. Um, defensively, had a good game. Um, what can you say? Uh, Maris is usually a stronger defensive team. What, what was what was working for you guys today uh, on the offensive side? Um. I think in the first half we were able to get a lot of different shots. Um, we were able to get it inside and then kick it out, get it back inside again. Um, second half they took away kind of what we wanted to do in that sense. Um, so we had to go more off the bounce. Um, but yeah, I felt like offensively, um, offensively it, yeah, it flowed good. for the most part. Um, there was a small stretch where we weren't getting shots that we wanted, but it happens. And Good day for you, Lauren. Ten points, five rebounds, four assists. Um, you have seen the floor pretty well with the assists. Uh, well, we're, we're leading the team tomorrow ahead of eight, but uh, dis distributing the ball pretty well today. Uh, what, what were you seeing um, with the defense that Maris was putting up? Yeah, I mean, that's not really on me. That's just everybody else making good cuts. Um, it was easy. I didn't feel like I was uh, had to make difficult passes. They were just open. And um, Sada, 18 points. Uh, I know you fouled out, but... Uh, a good, a good, a good game for you. Um, seeing, seeing the floor inside really well, um, especially going up against um, Henning's daughter, which is, I think, are, are you guys? Uh, do you know each other? Or? Yeah, I know her. I play with her with in the national team. So, okay. Yeah. And kind of, kind of cool to uh, play against a, a friend of yours like that. It is. Yeah. It's really cool. But um, I would say that was a good game for me offensively, but defensively it was terrible. Like it was not good. And. Um, I mean, you've been on a tear recently, just leading the team, scoring almost game in, game out. Uh, what's what what's been what's been the uh, mindset for you for the pe for the whole year? You've been leading the team. And I don't know. Down? I'm like I'm not focusing on scoring or anything like that. It's just like reading the offense, and I feel like I'm um, like more in the flow like this year, like compared to last year. So I think yeah, it's like the flow. Like everybody, it's like. Not just me. It's like the cut and the like the assist from Lauren and all that. Yeah, and uh, kids' day is a great day for you guys. You guys feed off of the energy. Is um, most of the time you guys don't lose on kids' day, but um, what 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 is the how how exciting is it to play in front of the? They have uh, over two thousand. It's actually a sellout. Uh, play in front of over two thousand kids. How 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 awesome is it to play in front of all the? Kids and yeah, it's awesome. They actually did a pretty good job at the beginning of cheering for the right team, so that was pretty cool. Um, I would have liked to feed off their energy a little bit more. I don't think we utilized it very well, um, but I mean, it's great to have them there. And uh, Terry, what can you say about the, uh, the you know, tough, really tough loss? The offense was really clicking the first half, and the second half started to wane a little bit, but, uh, what, but what can you say about the team today? Yeah, I, I didn't think we, in the second half, I didn't think we defended very well at all. We let Mara Fitzpatrick get going. We we were supposed to change the way we were guarding her, and we didn't, and she really got feeling it. Um, you know, I thought the fourth foul call on Seta hurt us offensively because they were having a hard time guarding her, and that put her on the bench for a while, and that, that was a tough call, which was the wrong call, but um, that's what happens sometimes. So I thought that hurt us a little bit, too. You know, it's, for us, it's a reoccurring thing a lot. Like we, we don't defend very well right now, and if we don't find a way to defend a little bit better, it's you know going to be similar games to that. And uh, four players in double digits. Uh, it's going to be something positive to go into uh, Quinnipiac on Saturday. Yeah, I don't. You know, offensively, I'm not as worried about us. I think offensively, we can do things that we need to do. It's just defensively, and if you don't defend, it doesn't matter how good your offense is, right? We, we really have to lock in and guard. Uh, you know. Like she just had freedom. She just doing what she wanted out there. She just catching fire and just doing what she wanted to do. And you can't let people do that. And uh, on the mayor's side, uh, how impressive is it to have such a young lineup for them and have five players in double figures and they and they don't sub a lot, so it's mostly. Well, they don't have guy. anybody to sub. They have yeah. all those injuries, so they don't have anyone to sub. Uh, you know, there's some good. They have some good players. Um, Laura Fitzpatrick obviously had a career high tonight. The Han sisters are freshmen, but very good. And you know they're playing a little differently. They're going to shoot lots of threes and go get offensive rebounds. Um, and when they're making them, it's going to be tough. And uh, as you came in, I was asking the girls about um, Kids Day. And another Kids Day down for you. How 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 exciting is it for you to coach in front of all the kids and everything? I I think for us in women's basketball, I think it's a great thing. And we've been doing. It. I can't whatever 15 ever since I've been the head coach we've been doing it it's just gotten better and better I think it's exciting for the kids that are coming I think it's fun for 
the young boys and girls to, to look in, at them on the floor and see it. I, I mean, if there's one kid that says, boy, I really want to do that. I want to try to, to be a college basketball player. I want to go to college. Then that's great, right? But the energy in the building is awesome too. Uh, we try to practice to get ready for it. But I tell you what, it's hard because you can't hear anything for a while there. Mm. They're so loud. Mm. Um, coach, do you... It seemed like you went pretty deep into the bench today. Uh, can you just touch on like why that was? Was it just trying to find like a different group of players that were it would be able to adjust to what Maris was trying to do defensively? Yeah, a little combination of a couple things: foul trouble. Um, you know, just trying to get some different rotations. Uh, trying to figure out what rotations we can play that, that can guard. Um, probably gonna have to go deeper and make some changes because uh, we have to guard better. So probably a little bit of that. And then you know Cooley got hurt, so she came out. Um, so just trying to trying to make some changes till we could find a, a good rotation. Anything on Cooley? Just uh... yeah, I don't know what it, what it was. She went back in. I I, I don't think she was a hundred percent when she went back in. It looked like she was hobbling a little bit. I didn't really have a chance to talk to Aaron yet, so I don't know. We'll we'll be like the Sabers. We'll call it a lower body injury. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I I saw she came back in, so I wasn't sure if it was something serious or just a day to day kind of thing. So yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you.